Well hello everybody, my name is Mick Whitaker. Get my name right this time instead of calling myself Mike, but I am the same person. Um, good to see you all and what I want to today is share a verse of scripture with you from Deuteronomy uh, chapter 37 and verses 44 to 47. Moses came and recited all the words of this song in the hearing of the people, he and Joshua, son of Nun. When Moses had finished saying all these words to all of Israel, he said, Take to heart all these words to which I give witness today and urgently command your children to put them into practice. Every single word of this revelation. Yes, this is no small matter for you. It's your life. In keeping with this word, you'll have a good and long life in this land that you're crossing the Jordan to possess. Today, I'm, I'm reminded of that verse that I've just read. First caught my attention when I was a much younger Christian. And I can't tell you how many times since then it's popped its way back into my mind, like a constant reminder that God's word to us is not just for sort of picking and choosing. For us, it is life. And um, way back... I've got a few Bibles, I've got a few up on the shelf behind me, um, but I, I got bought this Bible. It's seen much better days. It's one of those Bibles, it's it's kind of falling apart. Um, they often used to say that Bibles falling apart were read by people that weren't, so I'll take that. Um, but on this Bible, um, I put a sticker. As you can see, it's looking a bit tatty and worse for wear. There was one on the spine too. And... That sticker is the, um, you see, the red triangle with the manual underneath it. And it came off a car engine. Um, and it just struck me as being appropriate at the time. The young uh, guy, I know nothing about car engines, by the way. Um, but it, it, it was a reminder that if you were thinking of delving into the car engine to have a dabble and try and improve things or fix things, to if uh, to remind you that if you're in doubt consult the manual and and i found that you know god has a way of getting things to you doesn't he and this got to me if in doubt it was a lesson for life without shadow of a doubt if in doubt about anything consult the manual go back to god's word it affirms life brings life and sustains life and life in general doesn't it have a way of throwing things into your world that you don't have answers to, that you don't always, or you can't always see the way forward or the right way. And it can lead us to doing all sorts of silly things. And, and one of the silly things that we tend to do is to try and find our own way through thinking, you know, we'll, we'll get through this, we'll, we'll work it through. Can I, can I draw your attention back to this? If in doubt, consult the manual. Get back to God's word. It has the answer that you're seeking. Get back to God's word. Trust it. It's life affirming. It is, it is life sustaining. It brings life to situation. I mean, if God can revive dry bones in a desert, think about what he can do in your world through his word. Can I encourage you to get into God's word, to let his word bring life to your situation? These are not idle words for you. They are life. There's much more that I could say, but I need to be quiet and let God speak. I pray that his word will find life in your life. Have a blessed day. God bless.